rapper by a young rapper by the name of Money Sign Suede. What's happening with my folks? Before we go any further, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Man, it's free. It do not cost you a thing. And if you're already subscribed, I salute you. Thank you. Let's go. Money Sign Suede. Suede is a well-known artist from Los Angeles, the Southern California area. A situation took place last night in the Boyle Heights area. Now, we're going to watch these clippings that I have for you guys. After we watch these clips, then we're going to talk about it. My condolences to the family. I send mine. Let's get into this discussion after we watch these Developing clips. Developing news. Police investigating a deadly shooting in Boyle Heights. Half a dozen people were shot and several are dead. Gunfire broke out in the area of Lorena Street and Grand Vista Avenue early this morning. KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedin is there live. Tina, good morning. Good morning. Police confirming just moments ago to me that three people have died. Uh, and according to police, there was a party here. Uh, and that I, party was apparently posted on social media. It was billed as a summer kickoff party. Uh, if you take a look, you can see there the gray building and the warehouse. The party was being held there by a young rapper by the name of Money Sign Suede. Around 3.30 this morning, trouble started and there was a shooting. Police confirm a total of six people were shot. So again, police confirming a total of six people were shot, three dead. One person was found on the sidewalk, died as he was being taken to a hospital. Three others were found shot and injured inside the warehouse. In other words, inside at the party. Two were found dead inside as well. Uh, and uh, at least two others, from what I'm understanding from police here, uh, they took themselves to the hospital for their own care. So they drove themselves to the hospital. My condolences to the family again. My condolences. Suede is a very popular artist from L.A. He signed to Atlantic Records. Atlantic Records pretty much runs hip-hop right now. All the big name artists is signed to Atlantic Records. Cardi B, Nipsey was signed to Atlantic. Any big name artist is most likely signed to Atlantic. So that says something about this young man's career. You know what I'm saying? And his talent. Now, he did post something about this situation, and this is what he said. Now, according to what I read, it was two security guards. Well, two of the... People that were shot happened to be security guards. One security guard died, another survived. And uh, so what does that tell me? That tells me that maybe an altercation broke out in the crowd. Some people were going, going getting into it with each other. Security guard broke it up. Gunfire erupted. Security guard ended up getting hit. Or some people got into it with the security guards. Started shooting. Gunfire erupts. Security guards get hit. Either or, you know what I'm saying? That's what it kind of looks like towards me, what happened. Um, that's what it seems like what happened, you know. Now, what does this do for his rap career, bro? It actually puts a blemish on it because now he's not going to, concert promoters ain't going to want to book him no more. They're not going to want to have you come to their venue, invest in all this money into you, into this concert where people are going to get shot and killed. You know what I'm saying? Now you have a reputation of your concerts getting shot up, people dying at your concerts, people getting hurt, lives being lost. People ain't going to want that. That fucks up the bag, bro. That fucks up the bag. And this bag that he got last night, it was uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that big of a bag because it was in a warehouse. It was a concert that they pay that people had to pay to go into this warehouse and see him perform. Now, let me tell you this, bro. Not every bag is worth grabbing. Not every bag is worth grabbing, bro. Sometimes you got to pass on certain bags like, nah, I'm smooth. You feel me? Because, man, you got to you gotta play chess, not checkers. And, and sometimes it's just not worth it, homie. Like, I know right now he's sitting back like, fuck, I knew I should have never did this one. That's a fact. Because, for one, people lost their lives. And, two, in the long run, it's going to fuck up his career when he tries to book other concerts. You feel me? Now, he has, he has a bright future ahead of him, man. This dude, he's very popular. Like I said, he's signed to a huge record label, and he can take this Latino rap shit to a whole nother level and open up a lot of doors for a lot of other people, you know what I'm saying? So, um, salute to Sway, man. My condolences to the people. Y'all just got to be smooth, man. Make better choices. And, and like I said, not every bag is worth getting, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Do y'all fuck with dudes' music? I do. You guys see I posted them in certain thumbnails before.
<laughs> we're talking about the Edgar cuts and shit like that. You feel me? So I, I do. I fucks with bro music. I support him. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he he over, he gets past this man, and uh, you feel me? Keeps moving forward. It's the kid. I'm gone.